Hi there, Jeff here. Today we are comparing decimal numbers. So we've been studying decimal numbers, and today we are uh, going to take a look at how to compare whether one decimal number is greater than another. So to do, the, uh, to do so, the first thing we need to do is identify how big one decimal number or another is. Let's take a look at these two. Which is greater? Well, the first thing we'll do is let's just recall uh, the signs of inequality. So those look like this. Signs of inequality are signs that we use to show if something is greater than, less than, or equal to. You might have seen these represented as like a little Pac-Man or something. Somebody, you know, maybe with some sharp teeth there who can eat. And the idea there is that um, that uh, if it's a hungry Pac-Man, they're always going to want to eat uh, whatever it is that they're hungry for. And <clears throat> the side that's greater, this side here, is the hungry side. That's the greater than side. So um, another easy way to remember just is that this is small and this is big. So if we're using this symbol here, uh, this side here is greater and this side here is less than. This one would be the opposite. This is greater, this is less than. And of course, this is an equal sign down here. So we want to know which of these three signs should we use uh, for these uh, two decimal numbers here. Which one is greater and which one is less? So anytime we uh, are comparing decimal numbers, we're going to start by looking at how many, uh, or sort of what fraction, rather, what fraction are they divided into? So this one here is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are tenths. How many tenths are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tenths. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. 7 tenths. And let's take a look at this one over here. This one is also divided into tenths. How many are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and write 5 tenths. So what is greater, 7 tenths or 5 tenths? Well, I know that 7 is greater than 5. So this one's pretty straightforward. For this one, I would say that 7 tenths is greater than 5 tenths. So I would use this symbol here. Again, notice that the side that's bigger is pointing to the bigger number. We'd say that 7 tenths is greater than 5 tenths. Let's take a look at another example that might be a little bit trickier. In this example, one of our decimal numbers is divided up into hundredths, and the other is divided up into tenths. So <clears throat> that will make things a little bit trickier. The first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and record each of these decimal numbers. So this one here is divided up into, let's take a look here. Well, here's 10 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27 hundredths. This decimal number over here uh, is divided up into tenths. Each one of these is one tenth. And how many tenths is it? Let's count. One, two, three, four tenths. I'm going to go ahead and record that decimal number. So which of these two is greater? Well, when we have uh, decimal numbers that are divided up into different fractions, this is hundredths, this is tenths, um, it's actually pretty simple. Take a look at the first place value. Over here, uh, it's 2 tenths, and over here, it's 4 tenths. If one of these is greater, right away, you know which decimal fraction is a greater number. So in this case, 4 is greater than 2. So this fraction will be bigger. Never mind that 7 is also a big number, because 27 hundredths is smaller than 4 tenths. So again, the rule here is 
take a look at the first place value and determine which one is greater. And that will tell you which decimal fraction is the greater uh, decimal fraction. So in this case, this one's bigger. So which inequality, which symbol will we use? We'll use this one, which uh, has the larger side here, telling us that this is the larger decimal fraction. So that's how we determine if one decimal fraction is greater than another. It's how we compare decimal fractions. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, and good luck with your follow-up work.